Audio Jungle. Okay, so guys, see now as I we have seen that uh, last like uh, session it was uh, uh, climbing. Okay, so the extension of the climbing is nothing but next portion is what ceiling. What it is called ceiling. Okay, ceiling. No? <coughs> ceiling. So what is the ceiling? So basically, it's an altitude. Okay, it's an altitude. Ceiling means it's an altitude. So don't bother like. No? So this ceiling we have a two types basically. Okay, we have a two types of the ceiling. What is that? Number one, absolute ceiling. Absolute ceiling. And and service ceiling. This is asking gate. Theory only they have asked. So be careful. It's very simple only. Nothing to worry. Now, <clears throat> so this is asking gate. Ceiling is basically it's the altitude. Okay, it's altitude. So <clears throat> now. Two things we have to understand this basically absolute ceiling if you say first it is the altitude at which maximum rate of climb for the given airplane will be zero okay so if i say rate of climb maximum at absolute ceiling is what zero they have asked question here okay in gate they have asked question directly they had asked okay at absolute ceiling what is the rate of climb so always remember maximum rate of climb for any given airplane will be zero at absolute ceiling i will show the diagram also then what is the service ceiling as the word only you can understand service ceiling so whatever the airplane service we are getting you can relate from there so that service ceiling means what so service ceiling at the service ceiling that maximum rate of climb okay it is basically service ceiling also you can say defined as it is the altitude where maximum rate of climbing where maximum rate of climbing we are getting 100 this is also asking the feet per minute so it, like up service ceiling is what defined like this only it is the altitude where maximum rate of climbing we are getting 100 feet per minute okay 100 feet per minute where we are getting the maximum rate of climb called called service ceiling so that definition you can remember in this way also that definition you can remember in this way also like absolute ceiling is the ceiling or it is the ceiling or it is the altitude where maximum rate of climb will be you know and the service ceiling is the altitude where the maximum rate of climb we will get uh, 100 feet per minute all right so that you need to remember again if you check you convert feet per minute into into meter per second that is also very important because sometimes they will use uh, the unit maybe they will use unit meter per second that option so if you remember feet per second uh, feet per minute then you it will be a, a trouble no? so better you remember in meter per second also so feet per minute you can convert in in second so one feet check and using the calculator so one feet per minute is equal to 0 0.00508 meter per second so if you convert that 100 so you multiply you know
it is nothing but <coughs> how much heat per minute if you take then what is the roc in meter per second this is also very important okay so it is nothing but multiplied by 100 so you may get 0 0.508 or approximate you remember 0.5 meter second so if you are getting rate of climb maximum rate of climb 0.5 meter per second at that particular altitude will be called as a service ceiling so hope you understood what is the service ceiling and what is the uh, what is the basically uh, absolute ceiling because this is both both absolute ceiling and service ceiling both are related to the uh, climbing one okay so <coughs> Now, what is the mean of absolute ceiling becomes zero? What is the mean of it? What is the mean of it? Okay. If I say rate of climb max or VC max, so it is nothing but power available minus you now know the formula. Power required, this should be minimum by weight. Yes or no? That's the mean of it. Ah, so that mean is what? Yes, weight cannot be zero. You know very well, very good. Weight you know it cannot be zero. So if I say ROC max becomes zero, so it directly indicates to PA is equal to PR that you need to remember means what is the uh, if you remember the formula last session i explained vc is also vc is also you can write pa minus pr okay by weight so this pa minus pr is what it is called excess power yes or no by weight so what is the node point? This is the gate oriented explanation I am giving. So, node point is what? At, at absolute ceiling, excess power becomes zero. So this excess power becomes zero. Okay, for that reason, we'll get maximum rate of climb zero at 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 absolute altitude. All right. So remember, I mean, they had asked about absolute ceiling. What is the absolute ceiling? So there you can say maximum rate of climb will be zero. They that this question already they had asked. Now next question they can ask. Okay, at absolute ceiling, uh, power will be zero available power will be zero required power will be zero or excess power will be zero so at absolute ceiling at absolute ceiling remember excess power will be zero okay at absolute ceiling excess power will be zero so this is very important note here okay we just keep this and remember so at absolute ceiling remember excess power excess power will be zero okay this is very important no? excess power means delta p so delta p excess power which is nothing but p a minus p r and this will be zero at absolute ceiling. Okay. Now, <clears throat> how to understand this? How to understand this by the diagram? This is very important again. So, as I <clears throat> said, like uh, if you draw the diagram, if you draw the diagram for the available power and required power, so it was like this. This was the available power for the piston engine and this was the required power for the piston engine and this was the excess power. No? Called delta P. No? Excess power and it is like so I must say 
this line is not correct maximum you have to write okay the diagram you can check no so this is nothing but excess power so <coughs> what is the mean of it its meaning is like this excess power becomes zero so you can say for the absolute ceiling for the absolute ceiling this is the in general no? this is what the you know that power and this is what and this diagram is what in general in general for piston engine piston prop propeller engine okay now if you this is the in general but if you are going to draw this diagram for the absolute ceiling so the same thing i will draw here this should be very clear there it's very interesting thing and very important as well so this is below so <coughs> available power is what as it is no? what is the available power it is almost constant this is the available power where is the required power if i say it is absolute ceiling okay <coughs> if i say if it is for absolute ceiling so i need to show that excess power should be zero so if excess power is zero then where should be pr pr pa is what because it is available power so we cannot change that available power that is constant it is the engine internal property what about the required power that is the uh, based on dock uh, based on uh, drag generated by the aircraft and accordingly drag into velocity will be the required power so that is the external property okay now if you check the drag uh, that uh, required power to make excess power equal to zero it should be overlap to the available power so you can say that required power is what some more somewhere like this this is the required power yes or no so here you are getting at this portion you are getting excess power delta p equal to zero there is no excess power yes or no here you are getting this is the excess power so p p a is a constant quantity it is not going to change it is constant required power is what continuously increasing 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 once it will overlap to the available power your excess power becomes zero so this is the one case you can think now this is the one case where maximum rate of climb becomes zero means now further that aircraft cannot climb why because we don't have uh, extra excess power to climb see to climb the aircraft suppose this is the aircraft it is climbing only why it is climbing because it is it has it has excess power what is the excess power that uh, p available is what greater than p required this is the excess power yes or no this is the delta p which is greater than zero because available power greater than required power no but when this available power becomes uh, equal to required power it means we don't have excess power so that aircraft cannot climb understood that it cannot climb that's the mean of it okay that's the mean of it and we cannot we cannot go uh, above this altitude okay uh, above absolute altitude we cannot go that is not possible why because climbing becomes zero so it will not climb it will it will have a simple cruise condition okay it will have a simple cruise condition that aircraft don't have extra energy to go and gain some altitude that is not possible okay and if an airplane is flying at this altitude and it is sudden suppose a uh, god disturbance such as horizontal gust of air or something then the airplane will soon go out of control since the power required will be greater than power available why because in this situation see this is the required power condition and it is almost overlapped it is almost overlapped and so we don't have extra power to control the aircraft so for that reason also we will never go and we will never achieve this uh, absolute ceiling why because it, here that rate of climb becomes zero so anything suppose will happen then we will not able to control the aircraft so that's the reason where we will fly the aircraft max to max till service ceiling 
okay so always service ceiling will be less uh, it will be lesser than uh, absolute ceiling so absolute ceiling is what you can say upper zone and service ceiling will be the lower zone that's the point uh, hope you understood this all right now <coughs> now we have uh, we have this uh, uh, diagram if i draw the diagram for this particular so check uh, that two diagram this one single diagram but here i can show that uh, uh, absolute ceiling as well as service ceiling so that will be more uh, clear to you now check <coughs> Basically, we need to draw photograph and all for this, but not required. So I would suggest you just try to understand by this uh, diagram. Check this is the one uh, graph here, and this side it is nothing but uh, you say uh, because this is the altitude. This is the altitude, so you must say it is starting from the ground to zero. Okay, and uh, it is going to any altitude edge because it is going in a forward direction and this side we have a, a maximum rate of climb okay or rate of climb simply so somewhere will show the maximum rate of climb okay now check so i have to show the basically two things here one that uh, service ceiling another is the absolute ceiling so absolute ceiling will be the maximum point so this is the absolute ceiling maximum height and somewhere here i can show you the line this is nothing but you can say the lesser altitude okay this is point two now <coughs> i can say this is the point one and this is the point two so if you draw the <coughs> diagram here just draw the one line so it will show the both things check <coughs> this is the mean of it now whenever that uh, rate of climb becomes maximum because we are writing rate of climbing maximum for both i mean service ceiling and absolute ceiling so lower part this portion will be the service ceiling okay this is the service ceiling and this maximum altitude will be the absolute ceiling okay so that uh, absolute ceiling is always greater than service ceiling it is in terms of altitude i am saying but if you check the roc that max value of uh, rate of climb so rate of climb value for the uh, uh, both i mean service ceiling and absolute ceiling i told you for service ceiling rate of climb max will be it is nothing but nearby you know 0.5 i think you have written now okay. it was 0.5 uh, 0.5 meter per second it was 0.5 meter per second and here for the absolute ceiling uh, this is nothing but zero no? that you already have seen roc max so this diagram will explain whole thing i mean both that uh, service ceiling as well as absolute ceiling okay so now climbing part is what over this part is what over next station will have a turning okay next station will have a uh, turning maximum part we have seen here so 